That is Marshall standing behind you. Marshall represents a typical business person in Nairobi, in Kenya, in Africa, and all number of countries all over the world. One thing that is happening increasingly is that more and more of businesses are receiving money using mobile, using mobile, mobile money technology. In Kenya, the biggest example is M-Pesa. Now, for companies like Marshall, the typical scenario would be a customer would come into the shop, buys what they want to buy, and start making payments using M-Pesa. This is done on phone, and Marshall normally gets an alert in the form of an SMS. Now, the biggest challenge that Marshall is actually facing right now is that he can't keep track of the thousands of customers who are passing by shop every week or on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, increasingly, it's becoming more difficult to track each payment as it's coming in from all the different customers one at a time. Now, my name is Martin. I come from a company called Lipisha. Lipisha means to charge somebody or ask for money. And what we do is we try to alleviate small problems like that businessmen like Marshall face. Now, I'll jump straight into this. I'm going to do something very daring and ask members of the audience who have M-Pesa to contribute to Marshall's shop. Marshall is a bookshop seller. He sells books. There's a number that you can see, 0717-875-471. We want to show you how we can automate the process of collecting payments via mobile money to cater for the limitation that mobile money is typically presented as an SMS notification. So I'm going to do this. I'm not going to put my, my phone over there, but I'm going to ask any members of the audience who have M-Pesa, be bold, courageous, send some money to that number. I'm going to do this with you. So here's what happens. I'm a customer going to Marshall's shop. I'll come to my, to my phone. I've bought a book. I go to the mobile money network, enter Safaricom, M-Pesa. I know Marshall's number because he has told me. You guys can read it from there. So I enter 0717-875-471. OK, I hope that's the correct one. And I'm going to buy the book was, let's say, worth 450 Kenyan shillings. And I enter my secret pin. That's why I didn't want to put it over there. <laughs> so it's one, two, three, four, five, just for the record. <laughs> so I send a, a, a transaction. And immediately what happens is that our system is able to capture. I, I can see other guys actually sending kudos. Thank you. So immediately the system is able to. That's mine that's just gone in. Immediately, the system is able to capture all these payments from all these different guys. That's the first value that we give our customers. Now, the second value that we give our customers is to enable our customers to be able to push these transaction alerts. Let me describe to you what you're seeing. The first column shows the date, who has paid, uh, the phone number of the person who has paid, the phone number of the person who has paid, and the transaction reference and how much they've paid. But we need this information not lying on this system, but lying on a management information system of a business. It could be a point of sale. It could be a fees management system of an institution. So what we have built is a platform that enables, as soon as a transaction comes in, it's sent immediately to the point of sale. You do not require to do any further processing on, on top of your point of sale systems, your, uh, micro, your microfinance management system, your school fees management system. We have built what is called a publishing. You may not see it very clearly, but it's a, what you call a publishing tool. From here, as soon as a payment comes in, you can select a database, MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server, Postgres, and the, the payment immediately is sent, is sent to, to that. You could send this to a web-based interface using our HTTP connector. And this service just runs in the background. It runs in the background of your, of your program. We have built it as a desktop application because it's a Windows, it's a Windows service, basically, which helps us do that. I'll move immediately to, to how, how, how we are able to make revenues from this. We started out this project with the aim of selling to small businesses. But what we found is that bigger companies, as big as the airlines, actually receive M-Pesa, but end up doing a manual transfer by exporting from the Safaricom, let's say, M-Pesa system, as an Excel and importing it into Oracle Financials. So we found that in as much as we can sell this to the very small businesses, it also has a bigger market potential when we look at the very big companies such as airlines, we are looking at microfinance organizations, industries in the, in the, in the let's say, insurance sector, 
and we're able to make better revenues, say, or much, much better revenues when we introduce this solution to, for, for such businesses. The second aspect is that we have built it right now to cater for Kenyan uh, money transfer services, but the same principle applies, applies across the board. We're able to take this system, go to Uganda, Worried Telecom, UTN, MTN, everybody, and we're able to do the same sort of thing and enable businesses in Uganda, in Tanzania, in Nigeria, and other countries all over the world to be able to capture and process their mobile payments in a very simple and efficient way. We build this to be idiot-proof, such that uh, the security controls uh, have been put in place to be able to secure payments as they come in. There's a whole list of enterprise functionality, like user rights. I think that's what Marshall is putting up. We're able to say what each person can do. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lipisha. We are starting here in Kenya, but we are moving all over the world. Thank you.